I have to say, start you know with uh, Igor Cavalera. Igor was um, the drummer of uh, one of my big time favorite bands, and I spent how many years? If if you put all these hours together, I don't know how many years will be. You know, like I can right now, I can challenge even him on one of his album, albums because I study him so much. I know every hit, especially in the, the album Arise and Beneath the Remains. So that was like, um, I think actually I owe, owe the, you know, the reason I'm here uh, to these two albums and him. So yeah, Igor will be the main guy. Um, then another drummer uh, will be Richard Christie. He, he played for the band Death and uh, many other bands. Now Richard, he's um, he's like a you know like a drum freak. He, you know he practices a lot of syncopation and you know the new breed, like all this crazy stuff, and put him in the music. You know for Death, Death will always had great drummers. Gene Hoagland, Sean Rainer, like uh, some of my favorites. But um, I think Richard just pushed it a little bit uh, more to the point that maybe some people think you know he was a little bit uh, too much. You know. But uh, I loved it. I think he changed my life, um, uh, my drumming life. You know, made me think a little bit more. You know, like uh, every or, you know the orchestrations, and you know you can you can make every, everything way more challenging. You know, even playing uh, this music, which by then especially was more flat. You know, a lot of dynamics. Yeah, I love Richard. Um, another guy will be later on will be Derek Lottie. Now Derek, uh, he's one of my best friends now, and uh, he knows, you know, I'm a huge fan of Derek. What Derek did, he actually changed the whole scene, everything. He brought the, he started with the clinics. Um, I think actually we kind of started the same period with the clinics, but he knows that, you know, he's first because he was um, trying to educate people, you know, with uh, the extreme thing. So he was not the only one, uh, not only the one that pushed the tempos and went up to 250 singles and playing like real, you know, like loud and uh, very musical. But he, he started, you know, with uh, educational videos and uh, books and everything. And I follow like pretty much the same time. So he was a main influence uh, on my playing and uh, the educational part and everything. Another drummer will be, you know, because I mentioned like three metal drummers so far, uh, will be Dave Weckl. I mean, do I have to say anything? You know, yeah, Dave is, you know, um, I'm lucky enough to know him in person as well. Uh, and um, I try not to talk drums with him, you know, because if I start, you know, I think he's going to hate me. Uh, I have a lot of things to say, but um, yeah, I love his music. I love, you know, everything, you know, he, you know, the, the touch, you know, when, when he plays, man, he's so precise and so musical and the dynamics is, it's insane. Um, I love his music. That was one of the, um, you know, one of the first bands, you know, Dave Weckl band that I started getting in different styles and uh, try to understand and spend a lot of time uh, with his music. Um, of course, Vini, Steve Gadd, you know, all these greats. Um, fifth drummer. Mm. This is challenging. I will say one of these greats. Yeah, I can't name one. I will name three, maybe. Uh, like Gerko Borlai. Gerko is um, probably one of my two main influences right now. You know, everything he does is extremely musical, extremely fast, extremely extreme. <laughs> yeah, the guy is insane. He's insane. Yeah, Gerko is one of his drummers. Um, also a great friend of mine and uh, I've, every, every time I see him playing live I can't believe how, how good he is like everything's right there you know dynamics musical and uh, he loves Pete so he's uh, you know he's very exciting um, Thomas Lang as well you know Thomas is uh, the machine everybody's talking about my feet and I talk about Thomas's feet because he can do everything I can play singles, well, really fast, but you know, Thomas can do anything. Um, also, main influence, you know, on my DVDs. Um, I got all his DVDs, and um, it was a, the main uh, inspiration, you know, for my DVDs. So, how many six so far? Yeah, man, I got, I got at least yeah. going in. A, but yeah, I will stop here. I will stop here.